Oh boy, boy. I'm battling something. I don't think it's a cold. I don't think it's just sinuses. Maybe it's a change of season. I don't know. Because we're going into fall or something like that. This is a damp cloth. I could use the tissue <laughs> or the damp cloth. The damp, damp cloth is better. Mm. Oh, okay, that's not why we're here. Uh, hey, I'm here with my trusted cameraman from Dombasa, Mr. Coley. Hey, brother. I don't mention his last name because I don't want people trying to find out who he is. You know what I mean? He's like undercover. Okay, maybe he's not undercover, but you know, don't worry about it. Who's this man? Julius Malema. See him well? He's wearing the ANC Youth League. Oh, he's wearing the ANC beret. Yeah. Oh, this, so this is when he was in the uh, ANC Youth League. ANC Youth League. You know, yeah. he got kicked out. Oh. Uh, why did he kick it out? Do you remember? I, I forgot. You know, he was, uh, he got kicked out. Let's put it that way. That's how he started. That's when he started. What does it say here? He's the commander in chief. Yeah, commander in chief of the economic freedom fighter, but he's wearing the ANC beret. Well, this is Wikipedia, so they just got one thing. But his beret. Oh, that's right, the beret. Hey, actually. Hey, you know something? I actually have the beret. Let me leave this one there, right? I, I won't put it. Well, maybe I should put it on. This is the beret. Like that, like that. Got his device there. Now, hey, look. See in the beret, you see this is the original beret. So it's got the EFF, right? Okay. Uh, what am I gonna do here? Oh, I was saying, you see the original beret. You see it has Africa, including Madagascar, right there, like that. Uh, but you notice, what does it have on it? It has, has had, now remember, um, as far as I know, Mozambique is the only country that has a that has an AK-47 as, as in their flag. But the economic freedom, they have a spear, spear which also, is, at the, at the uh, um, ANC usually has a spear. Spear. Has a spear, right? spear in the it's wheel. Very, very African. But, 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 but that, that comes into play later. Let me, hey, let me try it on. Now I got this, I got, this is the, the first year when they, this is the first hat they ever had. It's really good quality. You see, this is what I'm looking at. Right, real, really good quality. You gotta put your phone on mute, man, because I can't have no more interruptions. Yeah. Wait, wait, this thing, right? Okay. Answer you, Fleet. This is the EFF Economic Freedom Fighters. And this was the original thing. Yeah. I got it just because it was it was quality, and I decided, hey, quality. Let me let me get it. They're not gonna have quality like this anymore. Probably, you know, go down like everything else. Okay. So, so what I bring up, but I noticed now. You notice here, he's smiling. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He's smiling like that. And Smile. He, he didn't have too much later. He's, he's young there. But uh, what also uh, happened was he got a little bigger afterwards where he got the ear. He got a little big. But about two or three years ago, he lost a lot. He lost a lot of weight. weight. Otherwise, he's going to look like the BEE, the big fat cats, the big politician like that. That was a smart move. But the other smart move is he smiles. And I see there's a lot more smiling going on. But here, let me take you back. There's something I noticed. And I first noticed it in the... Uh, in the 80s, really, and that was that, uh, especially black people, white people accept you more when you smile. Now, it was interesting because uh, uh, there's this thing, it, 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 especially when I was growing up, because we didn't, we wasn't smiling. We was like, we was like, like most of men, you know, no smiling, because yeah, y'all don't smile, right? When you take pictures, I don't. Yeah, yeah, most of men don't smile. Anyway. Uh, and I know a lot of people say, why don't you smile? You have such a nice smile, blah, 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 blah. Then if you look at your stars, some of your stars, some of your, like for instance, Eddie Murphy got old on his smile. You know, it was a smiling thing. If you smile, they like you. You know what I mean? Hey, the biggest, the biggest smiler, that I call a Cheshire Cat, is, was Barack Obama. You know, mm -hmm. the Cheshire Cat is from Alice, uh, Alice in Wonderland, the Alice stories, where, you know, you have the Cheshire Cat, and if his body sweats the face, he's just left with a smile. So that's what Barack Obama did. He came with a full body kind of thing, and then what he did, he just started, his policies and everything just started to fade away, and he ended up being just a smile. Smile. We're, we're left with a smile. Some people got some things, but most of us just left with a smile. And people are still going on that smile. Okay. I bring up also also on this tat, this the spear is, is this this when you have a spear in African culture, it's about war. Mm -hmm. I mean, spears use nothing but war. It's not it's not Warriors. a warrior. Yeah, it's not a, a plowing instrument. It's not a you know da, 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 no no. It's it's about war. So economic freedom fighters. That's what they're talking about. Again, I'm not supporting anybody. I don't support political parties at all. I'm an individual and blah 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 blah. Excuse me. I'm really apologizing. So I'm saying that. So if you smile. 
you sort of get over. That's the whole thing for some strange reason. And there's a lot of difference between white people and black people. I mean, culturally, I mean, not just culturally, but, but I should say, I should say white people and non-white people. Now, now, don't get me wrong, some non-white people will say whatever. They, they go towards that white people. Right. When I say white people, let me stop right there. I'm not talking about white people exactly. I'm talking about a white mentality. mentality. So when I say white man, I'm actually saying white mentality. That's what people go for. Now, if you look at the, the white mentality, if you want to go this route, let me go this route. A little trusty globe. I love this globe. See how big Africa is? <laughs> Proportionally, it's correct. Look, you see how small the other the other countries are. Brazil is big, but see how small the other countries. A lot of these, a lot of these areas can fit right into Africa. But what happens is now think about it, way back when you're in the savannas or whatever that is down. You know, equator, wherever, here's the equator. You're down here, whatever have you. You need to get some food. So, you know, you, you know what, what do you do? You, uh, you know, you get, a, you get a banana off the tree, if there's bananas back then. You know, whatever, you just get it off the tree. Walk along, get it off the tree, da da da. You see some wild animals, you leave them alone. Because, you know, you got a choice between being a vegetarian or, actually, back then, I don't think they killed a lot of animals. What they probably did was just scavenge like everybody else, like the hyenas and stuff like that. But I don't know what happened back then. I'm not a historian or a paleontologist or whatever those people, you know, anthropologists, what those people do. Okay. So I'm thinking, here's how did that, 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 uh, that white mentality okay. happen? And there's a book a long time ago, I read a long, long, long time ago, it was The Ice Man, or something, The Ice Man, they put The Ice People, you know what I mean? It's just, it's whatever, it's written by a white guy. Anyway, but they're basically, and you just think about this, if you're in the savannas and you, and you need food, whatever have you, you just go pick it off a tree or, you know, just prop out the ground or whatever it is, you, know, you keep on moving, you know? Uh, the people up there in, in Europe, way up there, you know, where it was, it's, you know, way, way up there where it's cold, they don't get no, no, no sun most of the year, whatever have you. Or especially when the winter comes, they got to huddle up in caves and stuff like that. So your mentality develops differently. In, 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 in other cultures where it's sun, you're just out, India, you know, you're just out, hey, hey, blah, blah, blah. So you have an outgoing personality. Mm -hmm. If you have so many months out of the year, you got to hoard and everything. You got to, you know, make sure you have enough for your family. You become tribal. You suspicion that anybody comes around. So you develop a whole different thing. I've talked about thousands and thousands of years, right? So your mentality is like uh, me first, family first, which mm -hmm. is fine. People do that. But but the, the, way, the way it goes off the rails is like nothing for anybody else. I, I gotta be so far above that I gotta that I have layers of protection. Protection. You know, so so I think that that, that part of this whole thing, uh, one of the things I advocate, I say you have to stop listening to this white mentality. If it's a white mentality, white don't people. listen to it. The whole system has gotta change. It's gotta change for this white mentality, which means you gotta change the whole thing. I was just listening to Max. You know, I listen to Max Kaiser Max all the time. Kaiser. And I guess on whatever he was talking this last episode, that, or, God, maybe I'll put it on the link. But they were talking, because at the beginning of the program, Stacey Herbert and him talked about news outlines, whatever. But they were, they, they, they were basically saying that um, somebody was quoting somebody saying that when a political system fails, you know, they hand it over to the, to the what happens? The political system failed, but they hand it over to the economics, economics. To, to the bankers. Now, so that's failing. But what I'm trying to say, they keep on, they have one, one white mentality, hand it to another white mentality, the results are going to be the same. They're going to always want, 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 and not share, tea, not tea, whatever, tea. whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? And it doesn't make any sense because the world is abundant. You're supposed to, you know, you're supposed to, when they went all the way up, when they went all the way up there to wherever they went up there, they not only did they lost, lose heat, they mm -hmm. lost their soul. They lost their humanity. That's the whole thing. It's interesting. There's a guy uh, who, uh, who I, I think should be vice president, Andrew, Andrew, uh, uh, Andrew Wang, uh, 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 Andrew Yang, the Yang Gang. Andrew Yang, he, uh, his, his slogan is, is something about humanity. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, that's interesting. Oh, you know. So anyway, uh, so, so this stuff is in the air. The, the, what, what I'm looking for is will people abandon that, that Anglo racist Sup white supremacist Sup system? Bring back because that that because that Anglo racist white uh, 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 supremacist system is the pure system of that mentality of scarce. No, nobody else gets anything or whatever have you. I'm, now the thing about Ubuntu, Ubuntu is great, 
and that would be great, but it can't exist in a capitalist society. Well, in this, the current fiat capitalist society, Sorry. capitalism itself is just whatever it is. You know what I mean? But the but the way the, the way they've hijacked capitalism, the, I'm talking about the bankers and you know the politics, whatever. They hijacked it so they can keep on getting more and keep on pushing everybody Push down. down. And that's what's got to change. And the only way you can change that is by completely destroying that system. But here's the good thing: it's easy to destroy the system now. Because now this is going to the bankers, and you see everybody who supports the bankers, what they've been doing. You have a clear enemy. You have a clear thing. Yeah. You got to destroy that system, and that's 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 just the way it is. It's a, it is. A short message from me, short as I can be. T for the patterns of taking the trenches to bed. Yeah. Letting you know what I only suspect here at a desk of the ADOS, American descendant of chattel slavery. Thanks a lot, Scully. You can turn that off now. <laughs>